Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're looking at The Brave Locomotive by Andrew Chesworth. Now, I have not seen his stuff before, is what I would normally say, except no, I have. He's been in things such as The Animator for Frozen, Zootopia, Big Hero 6, Moana, Wreck-It Ralph, Feast, Get a Horse, and Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Out of all of those, I've heard of a surprisingly high amount of them, including that tiny little video that no one's ever really seen, Frozen. Yeah, this guy has some chops when it comes to animation. And he came with the biggest recommendation I could possibly imagine for this video. My wife's saying it was good and I should watch it. Which, admittedly, is actually really high praise considering this is a woman who looks at most videos and goes, oh, that's cool, whose favorite comedy is The Departed. I'm really not sure what that has to do with anything, but I honestly love that detail and I love my wife. I'm going to just put it in there. Neat. And if she doesn't approve, this part won't be in the video. More importantly, you guys know how to do There's a link below to the original video. I'm going to assume I'm going to like it already and I want to see what happens. Otherwise, yeah, let's get started. The Brave Locomotive. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I just got hit with such a massive nostalgia kick. It's not even funny. I mean, it's actually downright hilarious to me, but this is so 30s and 40s. If he doesn't have something that says now in Technicolor, I will be a little disappointed, but at the same time, it's just. That is insane, and I love it. Music and lyrics, by Featuring the Dollies by Drew Jensen. Ooh, Railroad Baron. <laughs> I'm sorry, just... I already know I'm going to love this. My wife was right. This is going to be amazing. Just look at this. You could actually see that this is drawn. This is in 3D. I don't even know if this is actually hand-drawn or not, but it does the style well where you can see the shading gradients, how everything's put in. And then there's such stylization in all the lines where there's the rolling green hills and the jagged edges of the desert on the other side. You can almost tell it's just right in the Middle West, like Grand Canyon maybe? I don't know. It's just such a stark divide between them. And then the line going up where you have to get up there in this small little trail. It's just... It... <sighs> The scene is so good, just from the color and choice of how the lines and the, the settings are drawn. This is very much two settings. And then there's the train itself, which you can see this little 3D aspect on. But who cares? It looks good. Oh my god. Yeah, they're going full Thomas the Tank Engine on this one. You know what, that intro is probably definitely intentional to set the tone of this is turn of the century steam engine stuff. Steep grade. <laughs> and they're doing what the old videos used to do where they didn't actually have written dialogue. They had the music telling you what's going on. Sometimes with actual lyrics, sometimes with... Well, just musical cues. Because it's like, Henry, the engineer, is traveling the goal. It's like, nothing is being said by him, but you know exactly what's going on because the music's telling you on top of seeing it happen. This is so nostalgic. Oh! Yeah, that's a bit steep. <laughs> oh, this is catchy. Oh, oh my god. Sorry, I'm just thinking right now, if this was actually a model train set, I would just completely geek out over it and absolutely love it because someone have to metallic it and put magnets in there to keep it on. And oh man, I kind of want to see someone do that now. <laughs> Dirtle, no! Where the tracks are I have a good feeling that this is a reference to later. I don't know why. That seems very important to pull attention to. I'm not, I don't like this. Stop for the turtle. Oh, wow. This entire band. Colon Naval? Wait, that's actually called Colon Naval. I guess they went to the gut on that one. Pretty sure all those people are references to something, but I have no idea. Even it's just like stylizations of the basic tropes. A switching yard. Oh, dude. What? 
if he's not about to ask him to go on a trip to Atlantis, I am going to be completely ripped off and very disappointed. Like, tell me I'm wrong here. You see it too, right? I'm not the only one, unless I'm the only one, in which case, I still stand by it. God, the sideburns. Listen, my boy, and I will tell you about my new venture. And that's... Wait, he's actually talking about a new venture? Is he actually asking for Atlantis? Not how I was expecting to go on this one, but okay. And that's also why he was credited as a voice dialogue, because he's carrying the narration for himself, where the other guy is narrated by the narrator. The smaller trains must now give way to something of stature. Behold, I give you now the future. It even has a cigarette in its mouth. No, a cigar. Oh. Presenting yeah. Samsung. Wait, presenting what? What do you call it? Ah! That was a lot farther than I thought I was. Presenting. Presenting Samsung. Sam said, okay, that makes more sense. For some reason, I initially heard that a Zug Zug, and, um... I mean, it does kind of look like it has Bender's face, but much more rugged. I'm never going to get that out of my head now. It's never going to get out of my head. Yeah. And this is about when the diesel trains took over from the coal. Now his fate is signed away. Oh, because... Because Samson's... Yeah, that's what they were doing. They were showing how it's so bright and loving. And it's like, he's a friend to this guy. And Samson's definitely going to run over that turtle. Yeah, there's no way that's not going to happen. They even gave it the ominous lightning. The train mines. Point of no return. You didn't. Oh. <laughs> it's the freaking vultures from the Jungle Book, which is funny because I'm pretty sure a lot of that movie was actually redone from a previous movie and just overdrawn. But then he just did it here. I recognize these vultures. I saw that so much as a kid. And oh, man, he just threw it in there as a little reference because one is point of no return. They're going to die, vultures. But that specific style is so indicative of old style Disney when it came to these guys. I think there were multiple movies, too. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's horrible, but I love it. And you got the old trains working in the mines. Whoa, okay, he's crazy. What? And what will become of no one. They literally have a guy having him hauling lumber and a whip. While the old foreman is just there with the big iron on his... That doesn't count as a hip anymore. That's like he got a big iron on his nipples if it's that high. Samson never changes, does he? Like, I love the joke with his facial features that there literally is nothing. He's just always angry, always smoking, never moves. He's just like, yeah. Except even going, yeah, would be more expression. I kind of love it. Small little house. Pretty wife. They definitely did the style right. And that's not a reference to Bambi. I don't know what it is. Dear God. Whoa, what the hell was that? They've got the direct line, but they kept in the coal? I guess it's just a bigger train, not a diesel one yet then. Okay. And he actually is just in here with the tea set. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. He just went right through the. Oh, what? I just. So they didn't go down and up again. They actually just went colon navel. And now they're all dropped off. And they're all completely freaked out. And she's fine with it, though. And he's oddly happy. And everyone else is like, what just happened? 
And he came back. And what happened to him at this one? Okay, it's the same image. But for some reason, I thought it changed. Maybe I just didn't register it fast enough. She's oddly okay with that. Navel gazing, yeah. Oh, they're adding more people. That's the joke. It's going a lot faster. They have just... <laughs> they're just being thrown to the side. and She's still fine with this. Is that going to be the joke? She just actually... Think? Making the entire town happen. He's getting redder in the face over here. Baron's daughter, the railroad princess named heir to Von Capital Empire. Yeah, that explains why she's okay with it. Extra, new frontier for entertainment following patent of moving picture projector. Oscar Wilde faces controversy as importance of being earnest opens in London. Oh, wow, nice reference there. 50,000 Stalin perishes in flames. Breeder blames self? Well, they actually wrote out everything here. Like biblical namesake, Samson knows no hunger nor weakness. Behold, a marvel to behold. They actually have a box of cigars for it. I'm sorry, they didn't need to add that detail. They didn't need to do it. But the fact that they have a box of cigars to change out for him is literally one of the funniest little inclusions they can make, and I love every second about it. Uh. <laughs> Titan train tames terrain. Also, if anyone remembers how the story of Samson went, he got a bit of a haircut and didn't go so well. End of the Gilded Age. Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. You know what? I've read that novel. No, sorry, not novel. Play. It was written like a book, so I thought novel for a second. No, I read the play, which is, you know, admittedly the wrong way to do it. But, um, yeah, I don't remember that being a good reference to specifically throw in there. That's probably alluding to something, but I wouldn't understand that because I legitimately cannot remember what happened in that novel. Play. And uh, it wasn't that many. Oh, God, it was almost. It's 2023. That was almost. Oh, fucking God. It's a decade ago. Wow, I suddenly feel old. He's back to the oh God, they're just, and all the animals are running away from the track. He's about to tear apart the train. Oh! Oh, he actually broke composure on that one. I was a little surprised about that. I actually thought he would never do it. They wouldn't even animate him, but no, no, he broke composure. He's realizing it. He's, he's a lot heavier than the bridge they built. Yeah. <laughs> he cut his own part. Breaking the chains? <laughs> the crazy one has fun with it. <laughs> they introduce him briefly as the crazy one who initially scared him. And the second you see that, he's stuck in there in just this moment of sheer joy. Oh, and he just goes into the dark. <laughs> that is so fucked up, and I love it. He hit him. Oh, it's the boiler, so he'll overheat. Oh, they all got off. Except for... Oh, she... Oh, she's actually helping out. Okay, admittedly, I was kind of surprised about that. I want to really point out that's probably one of the more interesting moments because she's being held up as the railroad princess. And they were painting him in such an unfavorable light. The fact that she's willing to help out immediately is not what I was expecting as far as characterization goes. Good on them for surprising me with that. I mean, it's to save their own life, but yeah, they could just come out. He's actually out racing gravity. <laughs> oh, man, it's just... Oh, he just blew up, Danny. I wonder if that actually happened with steam engines. And all the people riding. And some of the new people drawn in, too. He's going to train heaven. <laughs> they actually are! Oh, my God. 
It's people in What? Did they all die? No, they brought him back. Okay. Brave locomotive save hundreds. Engine, Linus, can commended for courageous act of heroism. Von Capital Railroad. Trailway Railroad Company, Limited Pacific, a brief history, a legendary friendship, passion, politics, and pioneering. I wish my screen was bigger because I cannot read this. It's actually so small, I cannot make it out. Extra, new frontier for entertainment, following patent of moving picture projector. Gasoline buys, no, oh, bus, that's it, why? It's at that size right now where my uh, screen is, I actually can't quite read it that well. It might be easier for the people on now watching, if I was watching my phone, I could probably read it. Grant, I'd be going like, well, I can see it here. Yeah, these are my new glasses, by the way. I have no excuse. Rudolph Diesel patents diesel engine. So that was pre-diesel, which is bigger steam engines. British inventor Britt Akers films Oxford and Cambridge boat race. Oh, wasn't that one of the very first films ever? I think I remember that, but I could be mistaken. It wasn't really a film either. Oscar Wilde faces even more humiliating controversy. I remember enough about Wilde to realize he got a lot more. $50,000 sent pairs of flames. Reader blames self. What does future hold? I wish I could just stop to read all these, but I literally cannot read it. I think that's a two or something in the zero model. I did that, that, ah. Also, I do like how everyone came together to repair it and the princess did that and the dad's okay with that. And that guy has to be a reference to something. I have no idea what, but it's a reference. No train is a failure who has friends. And that bridge was still a failure though. Bigger bridge. Oh, with planes now. Oh, he's still around. So they got the planes, the much bigger bridge. In memoriam, Bon Varen von Capital, 1883-1929. Wow. And he's still there with them. The... Oh, they're up there. The other kid's there now. Oh. Oh, the turtle made it. Wow. This is so much nostalgia right now. I mean, I thought it was just nostalgic for the opening, but no, this is reliving moments of my childhood, watching the old Disney classics, putting in a movie and just getting experience for the first time. I didn't know you can live nostalgia from just the first time you saw a classic Disney movie when they barely had audio, like spoken audio, as opposed to everything being a song covering the animation. It's like watching Bambi for the first time, except for almost any generation alive right now. That is such a core childhood memory. If you've seen it, that you don't have adult recollection of it. And it feels like doing that as an adult. I'm wondering if this is what it felt like when the very first movies from Disney came out and you go in there and you see it on the big screen as an adult, it's like, ah, oh, that mouse is funny. Um, I don't even, this is so much the perfect nod to nostalgia. So many little references. And I know there's more I didn't touch. And there's probably a ton more that more buff Disney aficionados, take that however you wish, probably accurate regardless, would really be dying over right now. And I just have enough that I can spot a few in there that look similar. And, I, I need a guide to see the rest because there seems like there's so many more little nods and I want this. I want to know more. I just, I want this. This is the cutest thing I've seen in a long time. And I, I need to go find my nieces and nephews and badger them into watching this. And I have a few when young enough. They might actually like it too. Oh yeah. Uncle points coming in. <laughs> it should make up for all the swearing I do in front of them. Okay, admittedly, no, it won't, but I'll pretend it does. Uh, the kids don't mind, but their parents definitely do. Yeah. More importantly, if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. This was really good, and I just really had fun watching this. It's cute. It's adorable. And I hear my kittens chewing on wires again. Dear God, why do I have cats that like to unalive themselves? That Why? I need to go stop that. Otherwise, you guys know the deal. Link below. Hit it up. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.